Oh, you know, uh, yeah, I've always liked catching them, you know, and their stupidity. Go for it. Where are you from? Seattle, Washington. <laughs> that right there says a lot. What do you do up there? I make gin. Make gin? Yes, sir. Oh, cool. Thank you. Is that, a, that, that long you've been doing that? Ten years. Oh, so it's not a, like a family tradition or anything? We moonshine for many generations, but now I have a tax paid distillery. It's pretty cool. What's the name of your gin? Big Gin. Big Gin? Yes, sir. <laughs> Catchy name. Thanks. Where do you sell? sell? States and really? Do you sell here? Yes. Oh, good. Well, I'm not a drinking man anymore. <laughs> right there. It's, I don't just persuade anybody from doing it. Now, sure. let me ask this question. You say Trump's a Russian agent. Okay. I'm just pushing your buttons, but I mean, isn't he now? No. So what's he hiding? What's Why does he want to be in, front, in bed with Putin? Why wouldn't we want to be partners with Russia? They have untapped natural resources. So do we. They need our technology. They don't need our technology. They're and fucking They're strategically now. positioned. So did where you feel this way before Trump was the president? Yeah. You did? Yeah. I believe it. You really did? You thought... I never, president. I've never, ever, ever seen a reason. Except possibly back in the you know in the fifties when the Cold War was going on, I was too young and stupid to know what was going on. I wasn't yeah. paying attention anyway. Yeah. But you know, as I started paying attention, I never saw any because looking at the bigger picture, mm -hmm. it's always been the money guys that have tried to pit nations against one another to their benefit. They've never been out for us anyway. I mean, the governments on whole are basically owned by them. Because through the corporations and the lobbyists that they have. Yeah. So, so it's a good thing to have a billionaire in the White House? In the White House well, I'm looking at his... He actually has never had a successful business. Again, I'm looking at... You know, you're bringing up straw man here. No, I'm just, I'm just wondering. Uh, you're bringing up straw man because I'm looking at... Again, you're bypassing what I just said. It didn't even seem to register to you because... No, it did. I, you were talking no, about... No, his... Let me... Let, 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 let's... let's, if, let's if, you talk have a, if you don't want to have a conversation about it... I'm about to have how well one, but you're obviously ready to you know, walk away. Oh, man. I'm ready. Go All right. All right. Who were his enemies? Donald Trump? Yeah. Who Every were single him? person that ever did business with him. Really? Yes. How many have you talked to that have done did business with him? I know people from New York City that have done business with Donald Trump in the past, and it is not a good thing. He's disgraced there. Uh, can you... He uh, couldn't they, even they, They've done personal business with him. Yes. Good. So have I. I've talked to at least 24 people, give or take, that, out that, here. That were happy with the results? Everything. I talked to two of his bodyguards. Uh, his, Come on. Uh, what are they going to say about Secret him? Service. Secret Service. Okay. They also do uh, Secret Service for the Clintons, and I asked them what was the difference. They said, and they were very professional. Well, they said, well, basically, all we can say was day and night. They based, the Clintons uh, barely well, tolerated us. Now. This isn't going to work. Well, well nice I'm, just, yeah. I'm just giving you, you an example. Money, you I was giving you an example. Obviously, it didn't go along with your perceived, already, you know, you've got it in your mind bias, Very which is all that's got, because nothing else seems to get through to you because but, all you do all is take other, it into your, your bias track, that, you that program to, mind. Why you because you're not allowing me to finish any one given point. Before I can finish a point, you're like, let me go no over here, do this business. one, no and you one. take it into the track that makes you think no you're one. superior. I'm not you're not. To you you no can't give me an equivalent of a hashtag walk away on the left. Show me how many people are walking away from the Republicans right now who are growing and the right growing in, in ranks. Show me the equivalent of hashtag walk away on the left. Show me that. Have you? Can you point to it? Do you even know what hashtag walk away is? I, I, I don't know. I'm not on Instagram. But a second ago, you were talking about money. But you interrupted that, too. No. But, but let me ask you. Clint, you no, don't know about hashtag walk not, away. He's not the president. You either. don't know about hashtag walk away. No. But I don't like the Oh, I would beg you to look it up. Because it's testimony after testimony after testimony after testimony of people that were formerly liberal that are now going... Oh, oh, these people are insane. I'm walking that away. Is that your hashtag? Oh, no. This thing is huge. This thing's like, boom. Started out with a guy who was liberal. I mean, you know, 
know, New York, liberal, and he, and he said, and he, Did you know that Donald Trump was a Democrat? There you go again, <laughs> straw man. No. Straw man, you got nothing, man, you got nothing. Hashtag walk away, I'm and if you could find me the Did equivalent. Did you know that Donald Trump was a Democrat? <laughs> Did you know that? I don't care he if he away. was, you know, a Jehovah's Witness. I don't really care. Yeah. What I care about is he is he cut my taxes? Yes. Is he promoting oh, business? Like yes. Is he trying to secure our borders? Yes. Is he trying to get America not being screwed by the rest of the damn world? Like the Russians? Well, again. What is wrong with peace? I thought the liberals were all about peace. I thought it was like, you know, make love, not war. Now all of a sudden I'm hearing about, oh, he talked to Putin. He's treasonous. They're our enemies. We need to go to war with them. How would you have felt if Barack Obama had a meeting with Vladimir Putin behind closed doors? Would you have oh, how about, about that nice little would you hot okay mic? Would, can you explain the hot mic statement? I, I, I can't can you explain the hot mic statement? Me. You're not going to convince anybody if you scream and yell. Yeah, there you go. Another excuse. I'm sorry, you are. Oh, I'm sorry, I hurt your little feelings. You would have thought I can't stand a little hot debate. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Do I raise my voice to you? Do I have to comfort you? Wait, wait, I got to comfort it for you. Here, here's a here's a liberal pacifier. Thank you. Yeah, that's all yours. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Thanks for the video. Hashtag walk away. What? Look it up. Hashtag walk away. See if you can find the equivalent on the left, all right? Hashtag walk away. You can see how many of people are going bye-bye to your insanity. Bye-bye. Oh, Jesus.